Hello, this is Gijs from Heliophile. Today I want to talk about some of the features of Mutable Instruments' Braids module. It's a module for Eurorack. It's a, what they call a macro oscillator, so it has a lot of different sound options. As I sh shift between these modes, you can hear there are many different sounds in them. And because of the multiple sounds in them, you would almost forget that there's also a huge menu in here with all these kinds of different features. And today I want to talk about two of these menu items that I think are really important that can have a huge impact on your sound and are definitely worth exploring for every sound you make with this thing. So these two are Rate and Sign. Now let's go to Rate. By the way, some background, right now you're hearing the Sign times 3 mode. It's three sine waves, but the second and third sine waves are at zero, so basically you're effectively hearing a single sine wave. If I go to rate, the bit rate reduction, right now it's at full bit rate, so it sounds pristine. But if I go down, you start to hear some grit, especially now it becomes very noticeable. And if I go down to the minimum of 4 kilohertz, it sounds lovely, lovely distorted, bit crushed. And it's very difficult to get a result like that with a regular bit crushing uh, module I've found. Second option is the sign all the way towards the end of the menu range. Sign is short for signature and basically it's um, some quirkiness that is unique to every individual module. In my case it just distorts the heck out of it. So as you notice if I turn this up you start to hear some distortion until at full it's yeah it's stored in a very lovely way so definitely worth exploring this see how different the sound is compared to my initial initial sine wave awesome so here's another example I'm in kick drum mode now and you can hear that it sounds like a kick drum although it's a little bit boring so let's hear what these two uh, menu items rate and sign can do to our sound. First let's go to rate and reduce it. See you can hear a nice little bit of high-end noise on top of it, even more pronounced now. That's pretty awesome. And the setting of sign. As expected we get a lot of distortion. Maybe it sounds a bit better if we reduce the decay a little bit. And let's see what the two will do together. Sorry. Go back to rate and also reduce that on top of the sign. Listen to that, that's awesome. This one's maybe over, a little bit over the top, but this sound is pretty amazing. To my, to my taste at least. So yeah, listen to the difference compared to the original with, sorry, with rate at full and sign at zero. We're back to our pretty boring kick drum again. So basically it's worth exploring these two menu items in every patch that you create with braids because it can make a huge difference in your sound and can create all kinds of different variations. So I hope you enjoyed, until next time.